At Fort Monroe, Virginia, the Coast Artillery Board conducts a demonstration of a 90-millimeter anti-aircraft gun battery in action. A close view of the recoil mechanism and barrel. All guns are operated in unison from a single remote control source. Traverse and elevation are accomplished by electric motors located on the gun carriage, operated from the nearby remote control apparatus consisting of a height finder and a director. This is the height finder. It determines the distance from the gun to the moving target. The information is electrically transmitted to the director. The director enables the operators to aim the gun and actuate the traverse and elevating motors so that the guns constantly follow the target. The entire circuit is powered by a gasoline engine driven electric generator. The gun crews line up behind their guns and await orders to take their posts. The gun commander is a non-commissioned officer. At the command, the crews immediately move into position, pass the ammunition to the gun and await the order to commence firing. If the automatic traverse and elevating mechanism fails, the two men seated on either side of each gun are prepared to aim the gun manually, using the information received from the director. The sleeve target is towed by an airplane at various altitudes, the average being 16,000 feet. The sleeve is 18 feet long and 39 inches in diameter. When the target comes within range, the order to commence firing is given. Note the lever on the left side of the gun, which is struck sharply downward before each shot. This operates the rammer. The target has actually been shot loose from the towing cable. Crews continue to fire at the target as it falls. constant flow of ammunition to the guns is maintained. The fuse is located in the nose of the projector. A battery safety officer is stationed on a tower directly behind the four guns. 
His unobstructed view of the target permits him to ascertain when it reaches the limit of safety. In addition, a safety officer is also posted behind each gun with flag upraised during the period of firing. When the officer on the tower observes that the safety limit is reached, he rings a bell, at which signal the safety officers on the ground blow their whistles and lower their flags. The crew cease firing and the guns are unloaded and the shell fuses are reset to the safe position. After the plane changes direction, it retraces its course. When the target enters the safety zone, the battery safety officer gives the signal to commence firing. Note the foot action of the gunner. officers are receiving reports from spotters as to fire accuracy. This information is conveyed to the men operating the height finder and director so that they may make any necessary adjustments. The muzzle velocity of these guns is 2,800 feet per second. Firing continues for a period of several days. A mechanical counter shown in the left foreground is set up to record the rate of fire of the guns. 